right you are able to see my screen right okay yes fine so state means by 1015 at which state your database is till that particular state we can recover the database so that one is one parameter is time another parameter is the state of the database okay that is called recovery point object till what point i can recover okay so for example time you know right rto till 1015 i can recover by 1015 how much data is there in the database by 1015 Thursday morning 10:15. How much data is there in that particular database? That is called the state of the database. Till this much point, till this state, I can recover the data. That is called recovery point object. Clear? Fine. Yeah. Right. So now let's jump into another another backup called copy only backup, guys. The next backup will be copy only backup. So generally in the organization. we will set up the backup schedules okay okay some companies will go for a weekly full backup daily differential backup every 15 minutes log backup some companies will go for every day full backup every 4 hours differential backup every 15 minutes log backup so depends upon the companies depends upon the projects they are going to schedule in some companies few databases will will be like weekly weekly they will take full and a few databases for few applications they will take daily some critical applications banking related applications and all daily they will take full backup okay so like that depends upon the organization depends upon the particular database and depends upon the application they will decide the backup strategy whether it has to be a weekly full or daily full they are going to decide and they are going to schedule the backups so now sometimes when we are doing some maintenance activities and all like some script execution or any deployments from the application side sometimes application team will do deployments on the application side so any deployments that we are doing sometimes means deployments in the sense changing the existing application we can say like adding some new features or deleting the features kind of update we can say so when we are doing some maintenance activities sometimes we have to take ad hoc backups for safer side for example today i am performing a very big uh, application upgrade okay so what application team will ask hey dba team we are doing this activity so for safer side take a backup of the database imagine they are doing this activity today at 10 am but when my backups will run every sunday my backups will run so you are doing a, a, an important activity today so for safer side you need a latest copy of the database okay so what they will ask you hey we have an activity today at 10 am so for safer side you take the full backup of the database or we will have different environments right we have production environment non production environment so sometimes if they are doing any um, kind of if they want to test their logic and all they need a latest backup so sometimes application team will ask you hey we need a latest backup on the lower environment can you please take a backup of production server and can you please restore it in the non production server that is called the database refresh activity so these are the two scenarios one scenario is if you are doing any maintenance activities and if you are doing refresh database refresh always users need a latest copy of the backup for safer side so now my strategy as per my backup strategy backups are running okay imagine every sunday full backup i am taking every day differential backup i am taking every 15 minutes log backup i am taking so now i am taking for application requirement i am taking ad hoc backups ad hoc means on the spot okay if someone came to me now if someone ping me in the team say shanmu can you please take full backup on this database i have to take i am there to help them only so i'll take so when they asked about a full backup now exactly it's almost 8 8 am now it's 8 am now my backups are running every sunday 2 am every sunday 2 am my backups are running now suddenly someone came and they asked me to take a full backup and i took the full backup on saturday morning 8 am is it clear guys up to now is it clear okay so if anyone is asking a full backup 
in the middle of the backup strategy can we take a, a full backup or not so here what we have to do what will happen if i take a full backup forget about all these things now if i take a full backup now at 8 am exactly now what will happen my differential schedule will be changed right my differential backup will be changed right why because i am taking full backup on every week sunday sunday so every day differential backup i am running so last sunday i took the full backup and every day differential backup is running so now in the middle of the week if i take a different a full backup in the middle of the week if i take a full backup what will happen my differential chain will starts from today 8 am right clear guys is it clear are you getting the point guys guys can you hear me yes yeah. yes sir yeah okay okay so i just want to say one thing in the middle of the backup strategy if someone is coming to you and if they are asking you to one minute maji let me come please okay they are asking you to take a full backup what you have to do can i really take a full backup or i can't take the full backup any alternate why because when you take the full backup you should know the impact this this a this is a one thing that generally people will do mistakes when you entered into the organization uh, maybe this is the first thing that you do a mistake in the organization someone will suddenly ping you they will ask you to take the full backup so if they are asking you to take the full backup in the middle of the backup strategy you cannot take the full backup guys why because when you take the full backup in the middle of the backup strategy or when you are manually taking a full backup it will disturb the differential backup chain it will disturb why because from that point onwards again differential backup will start tracking the changes you know right after after a successful full backup differential backup the same pages will reset so from that point onwards a new the same journey will start So if anyone is asking, hey, can you please take a full backup in the middle of the backup strategy, or manually if they are asking you to take a full backup, you cannot. So what backup you have to take? Copy only full backup you have to take. What is that, guys? Copy only full backup you have to take. So what is the difference between full backup and copy only full backup? Interview question. So full backup will do two things. What are those two things, guys? Full backup. We'll do two reset things. Reset the DCM pages. We'll take the full full backup and reset the DCM pages. Very good. So copy only full backup means it will do only one thing that it will take the backup of only the database. It don't touch the DCM pages. So if it don't touch the DCM pages, if it don't reset the DCM pages, then there will be no impact of your existing backup strategy. You can still use your old backups only. In this scenario. if you take full backup manually what will happen your dcm journey will start from that point so imagine someone asking you to take the full backup today morning at 8 am i took the full backup today morning at 8 am so differential backup started tracking the changes from today morning 8 am so whatever differential backup still yesterday they are all wasted why because i took the full backup right once i took the full backup a new journey will start for differential backups so now i took the full backup because of the size constraints or something happened i deleted the current full backup guys 8 am full backup i deleted now if my database is corrupted on sunday how can i recover the data how can i recover the data guys are you getting the point someone asked me to take the full backup in the middle of the backup strategy so i took the full backup and i deleted that full backup whatever backup i took i deleted that full backup now on sunday if my database is corrupted how can i restore the database to restore the database i need last full backup but the last full backup is deleted right are you getting the point guys what is the impact if you take the full backup in the middle of the backup strategy is it clear yes sir okay so again i am saying again i am repeating when you take the full backup manually or ad hoc backup in the middle of the backup strategy or at any time your dcm pages will reset and a new journey will start from that particular full backup so in case if you deleted that full backup 
my differential backups will be there but i cannot where i can restore it i have to restore it on the latest full backup only but latest full backup is deleted i cannot restore the latest differential backups on the previous week full backup that will not allow sp1 cu2 sp2 cu3 you know right after installing sp1 cu1 or after installing sp1 i have to use sp1 cu1 only i cannot use sp2 cu1 why because the base is the sp2 like i'm just giving the example in the same way last week it is one set last week the full and all the differential backup is one set and this week means when you take a full backup again a new set will start so uh, this week differential backup i cannot use it on the last week full backup this week differential backup i can only use it in the last this week full backup so this is how it will work so or uh, shanmuk i don't understand anything chalo leave it very simple shortcut in the organization if anyone is asking a manual full backup or ad hoc full backup always you have to take which backup guys which backup ओनलीफ स्कूल you are in the state of confused i mean to say if it is 4 hours 4 hours yes it is 12 o'clock only okay? yes yes now only i mean i was yeah. fixing yeah. yeah if it is 4 hours yes as per the intervals it means after 8 the 4 hour intervals means 12 o'clock yeah three, but if if we doing only like manual otherwise it's going to be from 12 to uh, 4 yes right uh, yeah yeah so okay. thank you yeah questions guys so i'll i'll show you how to take copy only full backup okay and then we'll discuss other, about other backups right we have tail log backup and all yeah saida please ha ad hoc backup means ad hoc backup means like on the spot ad hoc means ad hoc ad hoc queries ad hoc backup means on the spot now someone coming to you and they are asking hey please take the backup that is called ad hoc you will take right ad hoc okay so on the spot is called ad hoc in this session we'll complete the backups guys in the evening session we'll start the restores okay restores and recovery of the database how to recover the database in how many ways we can recover how to restore the existing backups how to restore in the same server how to restore in the different server okay we'll be discuss in the next class Samu, uh, I was going through uh, with some videos over in YouTube about this backup and the SQL Server you know, technologies and terms. So PowerShell. Uh, so could you please explain something uh, like in uh, whatever your topic uh, you have chosen? I'm not getting your blush. Your voice is breaking. 
powershell you are saying something about powershell yeah uh, i was uh, i was uh, asking Ablash. Ablash, your voice is totally breaking okay just type your question you could uh, explain a little bit about powershell how to how see powershell is an automation tool okay so powershell generally depends upon the company some companies will use powershell some companies will not use powershell it's a kind of a scripting scripting means you know that everything we can achieve with the help of scripting so when you run a script to take a full backup or when you run a script to take a to install a sig we can achieve everything using powershell but for that you should know a scripting so in some organization they might use powershell in some organization they will not use powershell so it's, it's a kind of a automation using powershell we can automate the things the one word that i can say using powershell we can automate the things so how to automate it you have to learn powershell okay so as we we have to know powershell or no not exactly so it depends if you have powershell that is good it's an uh, added advantage to you okay but it's not mandatory to learn the powershell why because very less people are using powershell and yes there are few activities will use powershell in the organization but we don't write any powershell scripts and all in the organization there will be a separate team or will use a google scripts using those google scripts we can you ex execute those google script so those will help you to like run but generally we don't write no one will ask you to write a powershell script using a google you can search for the google so what is a powershell script to take the backup okay you can just get it and you can just execute it so that generally if you have knowledge that is also easy guys okay you can edit it sometimes in the organizations like few organization they will use powershell to patch the servers a few companies what they will do using powershell they will patch all the servers at a time of course after taking approvals only after following the process only they will patch 10 20 30 servers or 100 servers at a time so it will reduce the manual effort so what kind of script they will use means that they might design a, a particular script or they might use the existing script from the google so it depends upon the uh, script and all if they got a excellent script which will fulfill their requirements they will use the existing script okay but no one will ask whether you know the powershell tell them in case in the interviews if they are asking hey do you know the powershell tell them that okay i can understand the powershell i can edit it we will also use powershell in few things like patching the servers or fail over fail back the always on clustering so you can just tell those two three points that is enough okay yeah thank you so much uh, about no uh, this yeah. uh, but i want you to explain how to start uh, the power sail abhilash the... this is not powershell class okay there is no discussion on the powershell Oh, it's oh, completely oh, db why because you. we should be first good in dba okay then uh, powershell t sql everything like is an extra cheese so that you have to put some efforts so if you want to like automate many things means you have to learn powershell why because i don't want to confuse others i just promised most of the people that there is no coding no scripting in the dba again if i start powershell this again in not it's not a required thing that to discuss if it is really required and everyone is asking powershell okay there is a meaning okay but it's it's extra that you can learn it from google or youtube okay but no one will ask you powershell in case if they are asking powershell tell them yes i can edit i can understand the powershell scripting just go through guys go through few powershell uh, scriptings guys just go to your google and just type um, uh, powershell script to take the backup it's the same script like a sql script only it will be just try to understand the terminology that is enough <laughs> Let me check the SQL services.
so copy only backups we can take in two ways guys one is using gui we can take copy only backup and using this command also we can take backup i'll show you both ways okay so again in the organization if anyone is asking uh, full backup they they will not ask you hey abdullah please take a copy only full backup they will ask why because they are not from dba side they are from the application side they don't know the difference between full backup and copy only full backup you cannot again argue you only asked full backup so i took the full backup you have to ask copy only full backup right no you cannot argue with them they don't know you are the dba you know the difference between full backup and copy only full backup so if they are coming to you and if they are asking hey i need full backup you have to take a what backup you have to take guys always copy only, copy only full backup copy only full backup always you have to take copy only the manual backups always should be copy only full backups guys okay this thing you have to remember forget about the copy only full backup definition okay just whenever you are taking manually if someone is asking or for your requirement you are taking a full backup manually you are taking a full backup the organization will have a jobs scheduled guys you don't we don't take any manual full backups differential backups log backups regularly no why because we have to handle thousands of servers thousands of databases in each database if you go minimum to minimum three backups so if you are having 10000 databases 10000 into 3 30000 backups on a regular basis can we take backups manually no that is called automation so we'll create the jobs the next topic will be automation set up like we'll set up the job that job will run full backup script as per the schedule so automatically full backups differential backups log backups will be taken care by the sql server if manually you are taking full backup means you have to take a copy only full backup right so i'm connecting to the server so if i want to take a full backup or uh, sorry copy only full backup so go to the database properties i mean to say the right click on the particular database and tasks backup there you can see regular window only same backups window only okay go to any of the database amazon let's go to amazon and tasks and backup you can see here full okay amazon full generally if you want to take full backup we will we'll choose full here and we'll give the file name and we'll click okay copy only full backup means keep this full as it is select this copy only backup so copy only plus full is equal to copy only full backup same remaining everything is same remove the old file and click on add browse and you can choose the location here i am going to take the backups okay and what is the database amazon underscore full backup sorry i am so sorry copy only full backup you can still give the name the name is no where it's related to the file so but it is copy only full backup right so copy only backup underscore what is that day date today uh, 8 9 2024 okay if you want to can add time also dot the extension also will be dot bak only only for log backups extension will be dot trn remaining all other backups the extension will be dot bak click okay click okay remaining everything is okay simply you have to select copy only full backup and you can just click okay this is how we can take the copy only full backup guys so using query how to take copy only full backup sometimes they will ask you queries guys full back what is the full backup query what is the differential backup query what is the log backup query okay log backup let me check the last class we took log backup guys this pc and c drive program files microsoft sql server default instance ms sql backup okay we took uh, backup in the last log backup in the last class. i'll show you that also okay right let me run a uh, copy only full backup query backup database database name to disk is equal to okay file name amazon underscore copy only full backup dot underscore today's date 08 09 dot bak close it this is full backup query right backup database database name uh, almost same you know you can say like that okay 
Backup data. This is a full backup query. Actual full backup query is this backup database database name to disk is equal to file name dot bak and with copy underscore only. That's it, guys. This is called here copy only full backup query. Okay, you can just select it and you can all text using all text you can execute the backup, guys. Okay, there is no big difference. See. It is showing 384 pages, one page, right? So now also, in case if I am taking a full backup, now also, you can still see that this is full backup query only, right? Yeah, this is full backup query. Alt X, same 384 pages only. Data-wise, there is no difference between full backup and copy only full backup. Okay? Only the mechanism, full backup will reset the DCM pages, copy only full backup will not touch the DCM pages. That's it. Okay, that point you have to remember, guys. So always, whenever you have to take a manual full backup, always it's good to take a copy only full backup, guys. So last time we forgot to, to take log backup, right? So let me show you how to take log backup. Task to take differential backups or log backups for the first time, always a full backup should be there. Without a full backup, I cannot take a differential backup, guys. I cannot take a log backup. First, a full backup should be there. From that full backup only, the backup journey will start. Okay, so now task backup. The, here I have to choose transaction log. Okay, log backup. Copy only full backup is completed, guys. Log backup now. In the last class, I forgot to show you the demo. So now I'm showing you the demo for log backup. So select transaction log backup, remove this path, add it, browse it, and select the location. And uh, you can give uh, what is the database? Flipkart underscore. Uh, log backup underscore today's date 08 09 2024 underscore time also I'm giving uh, 08 15 something 00, 00 dot trn the extension will be dot trn guys for log backups click ok click ok and then the meaning all are same media options the backup options everything is same your regular full backup only so you can just click ok so it will take a log backup, guys. It will take a log backup. So using query, how to take log backups? Backup. You are taking log backup, right? So log file. If you are taking full or differential, you can mention database. You are taking log backup, right? Backup log database name, flip cart to disk is equal to single quotes, flip cart underscore log backup two underscore today's date zero eight zero nine twenty twenty four underscore today's time now the time is eight sixteen zero eight sixteen zero zero dot prn okay that's it guys this is your log backup query backup log database name to disk is equal to file name path and file name dot trn okay path and file name here you you are not giving any path as you know that it will go to the default location Okay, done. So in this way, you can take the log backup, guys. Clear? Full differential log, copy only, full backup. Everything is it clear, guys? Does it take same time for full backup and copy only full backup? Ah, almost same. Same. Good question. Why? Because I, I even shown you the same. Data is same. So if the data is same, the time also should be same, right? Yeah. Yeah. Questions and while taking log backup, uh, uh, even there is option of taking copy only backup. Can you take uh, Wait, copy only backup? That is not possible. Now? No, no. Copy only log backup is not there. Only copy only full backup is there. We don't have copy only log backup. It will still take log backup only. Yes. Yeah. Questions? Uh, copy only backup also compressive. Ah, see, backup always compressive, including log backups. All backups should be compressive, mm -hmm. then only you can save the time. See, full yeah. backup okay. is compressive, copy only full backup is not compressive, means there is no meaning in that scenario. Copy only full backup, the size of the copy only full backup will be very big, and the time also it will take a lot of time. So, yes, all the backups should be compressed, including log backups. Yeah. Questions, guys? Yeah, yeah, sure. Got one question. Yes. Uh, one of my friends told me in real time scenario that when you take uh, backup of a database, you have to take those system database too or not? 
we can take backups of system databases as well okay so that is your assignment so now you know how to take full differential log right copy only so your assignment will be in the next class okay now i need a table like this the same process whatever it is the database name will be changed guys data here instead of amazon master model msdb temp db just the database names will be changed commands process everything is same okay so this is the assignment for you guys so i'm not giving assignments okay so on a regular basis so i'll i'll, I'll try to give the assignments guys so now one minute i'm just coming right ah yeah okay so now um master model msdb temp db okay full can we take full backup on master or not can we take differential backup on master or not can we take log backup on master or not if we can take full backup just mention why why means yes okay if we can't take differential backup just mention n okay so i need a table okay so this is your assignment guys by evening okay just send me the screenshot once you complete it just send me the screenshot to my whatsapp create a table that on system databases what kind of backups are possible okay master can i take full differential log model can i take full differential log msdb can i take full differential log temp db can i take full differential log so this is your assignment you can complete it don't take much time whatever commands are there just prepare the commands like this always replace with master model see you know that these three commands okay i'm going to paste it in our chart okay you can or else in our notes okay try to paste it in the chart i guess let me paste it in the notes itself hmm. okay so just replace the database names and file names that is enough okay just try it guys and complete that assignment and send me the screenshots okay uh, harshavardhan will the backup stored at default location if not what will be the query to modify the path very simple see for example if you want to modify the path you have to simply for example now you want to take backup to a specific location okay in the c drive imagine there is a folder called okay uh, backups okay there is a folder called backups this is the path right open the path copy the path whatever it is this is just to see backups maybe in your case if there is a d backups or some other folders internal folders and all just copy the path and here just paste it control v backslash okay now i am executing this query see the folder is empty right not this one the c backups folder is empty right See backup is empty. Now I am executing this query. Okay, it will create a backup in that location. Yeah, you can see now. Okay, so you have to simply give the path here. Okay. Yeah. Okay, guys. So take a break. Break for ten minutes. We'll be back after ten minutes and we'll discuss other backups. Okay. Ah, uh, Shanmu, one question. Ah, uh, this transaction log backup contains only LDF files. Yes, correct. Only log backup. it will contain okay okay yeah, yeah. okay okay guys we'll be back in 10 minutes